In this video today, I wanted to tackle HIT, what I feel is probably one of the, if not the most valuable asset you have to increase stamina, endurance, up your cardio game, and really help your overall health. My name is Joshua Haig. Welcome back to my channel. So one of the biggest problems that I see with most of my clients is they hate cardio. They don't want to take the time to do it. And at the same time, they're vastly out of shape. Well, how do we fix that problem? Enter HIT. HIT is high intensity interval training. And it's, as I said, one of the most valuable tools that you can use. You don't need any tools, as in workout equipment, or you can use an entire weight room. The choice is yours. I personally like to do things that are more body weight, more plyometric, meaning jumping. But if you like to use some weights, I'm gonna walk you through a couple tactics that could help you. The main bullet points, the science behind it, is as hard as we can go, I'm talking max threshold, high intensity, intervals, meaning we go on, off, on, off. And then finally, there's a set duration. The most advanced people, most advanced lifters should not be doing HIT for more than 15 to 20 minutes, right? So if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out, I want five to 10 minutes. You're thinking one to two exercises, you're thinking as hard as you can do it, as many reps as you can do in a set time, and then you're gonna set your rest time. We talk work to rest ratios. So if I'm an advanced lifter, that's gonna be three to four workload to one rest. If I'm a beginner, that's gonna be one workload to three or four rest. And what I mean is about 15 to 30 second intervals. Usually I like to see for my advanced people about 30 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds of work. So maybe I'll sit down on this assault bike and I'm gonna pedal as hard as I can for 30 to 45 seconds. And then what I'll do is I'll rest for about 15 to 20. And that's an excellent work to rest ratio. Now, if you're brand new, maybe I'm just gonna do body weight squats as quickly as I can and I'm gonna do that for 30 seconds, and I'm gonna rest for a minute and a half. It depends on you, it depends on your body. The most important things to think about are that work to rest ratio, and to do exercises that you don't need to think too much at. You don't need to try so hard at. It should just be something that you can put effort behind. So I like to choose either a medicine ball, so something where I'm slamming the ground, I'm putting emphasis in a deloading position. Hard work, but it's in a safe capacity. I also like kettlebells a kettlebell swing, or something, maybe a snatch, but that's gonna be more advanced and a little bit weighted. You won't get the same feeling internally, but it's a really good opportunity. And then finally, my all-time favorite, I do it every week, is the good old-fashioned assault bike. You'll also see in some gyms, they have the vertical rower. That's a great one too. Sit down, try it, 15 to 20 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 40 seconds off, whatever your body can do. But I bet, I bet that when you get done with that, you're gonna be drenched in sweat, and probably not able to breathe very well. Continue this every week, once a week. I don't need more than that. We wanna be careful of burning out our endocrine system, our hormones. But for women, fantastic at regulating the hormones. For men, we wanna be careful in overtraining, right? So you're gonna work really hard, you're gonna lift really hard, and at the same time, if we come in and do hit too much, we push too hard, you're gonna burn out your system. I hope this was helpful. I want it to be short, sweet, and to the point. I need you to implement hit. It should be something in everyone's profile, no matter beginner to expert. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Please like or subscribe. Again, my name is Joshua Haig. Thanks for stopping by.